Hi everyone, welcome to the Summer at HPL 2017 registration tutorial. As you can see, we're going to start here at the website where you'll find detailed information about this year's uh, reading program, learning challenges, and fun events for kids, teens, and adults. Uh, the theme for this year is Build a Better World, and so you can find all of the activities uh, according to the age group here. Kids are 11 on, and under, teens are 12 to 17, and adults are considered anyone over 18. So, but we're going to focus on registration for this tutorial. tutorial. So I'm going to click on Registration, which begins May 15th, and it's going to take me to uh, the digital reading log. And so all of the reading and listening time is recorded in this digital reading log. And you can register, if you're a parent, you can register kids and teens and, and yourself all at one time. And that allows parents or adults to manage the kids or teen, teens account from their one account if you want to do that. Uh, kids and teens can log their own time if they want, um, but registering a whole family at once um, is, makes it a little bit simpler to manage everybody. And you will need to use the digital reading log if any kids want to get the prizes for their hourly reading time uh, and be part of the Super Reader Prize. Teens will need to register and record their reading and listening time to be eligible for any of the prizes. Adults will too. Um, so this is the one-stop shop. So I'm going to go ahead and register now. And as you can see here, I'm a parent or guardian, so I'm going to register myself first. And as I said, adults are anyone over 18, so I am going to be 39 today. And I'm going to select yes, that I would like to create a family account. If you are a teen or a kid uh, registering with permission of your adult on your own, you can just go ahead and put your age in and it will automatically select which uh, program you should be part of. So here it says I'm part of the adult program. I'm going to put I'm going to put my first name in, my last name. I'm going to put in my email address and I'm going to select Homer, that is my city. And again, it's just telling me I'm going to register myself first. I'm going to make up my username. And this information is all kept private. It won't be shared. Um, and if you enter an email address, it will allow you to recover your username and password if you forget it and don't write it down. Um, but this is not shared within the program. Okay, so sorry about that. That one's already in use. And so that message will pop up if there's if you can't use that username because someone else has used it. Um, just kind of proceed on. Okay, so I've already, my account has been successfully created. So I'm just going to put next because I want to register uh, a child. And it automatically puts in my last name, but you can change that if your children have different last names. And it puts in my email address if for case of a teen you want to have put in their email address to keep them updated. Um, you can do that also. We'll use these email addresses to send out weekly updates about any events um, that happen after the start of the program, new events, or any updates to the program. So it's worthwhile. You don't have to put in your email address, but it's, it's helpful if you want to stay up to date on what's going on. Okay, and then I'm going to select a school for Betty. And this will allow Betty to get one of the digital badges. And digital badges are a way of celebrating kids' accomplishments. And when they register, they will get one for their school and that they're associated with um, or the school they will be attending in September. And then you can earn digital badges either by finding secret codes around town, completing learning, learning challenges, coming to events. Uh, so it's just another fun way to, uh, to recognize the kids' efforts. So give parents consent. Just going to enter 
a, a quick password. And you'll just have to make sure they match. Up. Oh. there. And so it's creating account for Betty. So then I'm going to create a teen one so that I can show you how to go from there. And again, I'm using the same email address, but you don't have to. I'm going to do Homer Middle School. And this process is pretty quick. All right, so I'm going to be done. I'm just going to register the two kids. So you can see this is what my screen will look like when I am logged in. Up in the top right corner, I can log out. And this is the home screen. I don't have any badges yet because I'm an adult and don't have a school association. I haven't earned any points and none of the participants have either. I My points will pop up here when I start recording reading listening on May 29th. So I can create an avatar, not by uploading a photo, but uh, creating one with the different options. And this is a, a fun piece of the program. And you can send mail if you have questions about the reading program or prizes. This ma mail will just go to uh, library staff, but if you have questions, you can go right from here while you're thinking of it. Um, I can show you the badge gallery. So these are all the different badges that you'll re receive for different amounts of when you get to different levels of reading time. Um, you can see there's some badges for digital challenges, for volunteering, for um, hidden around the library. Uh, so you can click on those and find information about them. For example, um, you can earn a digital badge by collecting by completing the digital citizenship challenge and that's where we'll go to next. So this is a list of the different challenges. There are challenges for every age group. For example, kids and their families might want to uh, participate in the Instagram A to Z challenge and when you find all these letters and snap pictures you can complete the tasks and then you'll earn the badge when you've completed the tasks. Um, there's also for example the maker badge so when you complete all these tasks, um, once the program starts on May 29th, um, it will award you a digital badge. I can also um, modify my account from this uh, head figure, and I can manage family members from here. So I can enter activity, change the password for that account, or log in as that person and uh, manipulate the avatar, change the clothing, those kind of hairstyles, those kind of things. If I go back there, I can also change my password for here. I can see activity history, but there's nothing been logged. And I can change my avatar, and then I can log out. Um, all of this information can be done on a mobile device, on a computer at home, or on a computer at the library. And in fact, a computer right near the front desk will be dedicated to Summer at HPL, so you can register there or throughout the summer log your reading time and listening time without logging into the public computers with your library card or a guest pass. So feel free to use that and feel free to ask staff if you ever need any help with this process. Thanks and welcome to Summer at HPL 2017.